Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Mighty Shot bringing you another Madden 18 quick tip video. I'm doing a series of just basically uh, single tips, as well as I do like full breakdowns of things. But I'm also doing some very easy, simple tips for you guys to add to your game um, for little short videos that I think are important. And uh, something I'm going to focus on today is the pass rush. If you're on offense and your quarterback feels like he's constantly under pressure, and then the pre, the after play, um, you know. Uh, picture shows that they're not really even sending heat. Uh, there may be a reason for that and I'm going to show you how to adjust to that really simply. I did a video in the past where I went over the coaching adjustments. A lot of people don't even know how to get the coaching adjustments. Coaching adjustments is the furthest screen back. If you hit the circle button or uh, the B button if you're on Xbox until you back out entirely um, to this screen where you have recent plays, coaching suggestions and all that, you go to coaching adjustments and uh, as a defensive or an offensive player you have different ones. But I'm not going to go over that too much because I did a whole video on that. It should be popping up in the top right corner so you guys can check that out if you didn't see that but basically you have the ability to put your pass rush on aggressive or conservative and your opponent may be using that um, you know that, that might be on and that might be the reason so I'm going to show you how to adjust to that and basically use that against them to your advantage in a really simple method which like I said a lot of people don't even use coaching adjustments so it doesn't surprise me that a lot of people don't know about this adjustment. So basically what you're going to do, if somebody's in an in aggressive pass rush, and this can, have, this can backfire too, I'll go over that in a minute, but if somebody's in an aggressive pass rush and they're trying to send a blitz, let's just say um, you know, they're doing some sort of blitz here, on offense all I really got to do, and I'm going to just choose a random play, it doesn't really matter, all I really got to do is when I'm at the line of scrimmage, on a first and 25 is uh, hit the RB button or the R1 button depending on what system you're on and uh, that should get the defense to jump and give you a free five yards now if they don't learn the first time do it again I only had to do it one time you saw I only did it one time they jumped off sides now that's because of it, it was a blitz that's not gonna always be the case if it's not a blitz it sometimes doesn't work out that way so we're gonna do a regular cover one here and I'm going to see if uh, they jump off sides the same way. Like I said, they're on aggressive and blitzing, so that has that effect. Now we're going to do that again, and you see they jump again. Like I said, it's 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 pretty consistent, but it's not 100% consistent. Probably works more in simulation mode than it does in competitive, because competitive doesn't have as much randomness. But you can see how I only got to do it one time. I'm getting a free 10 yards, and you can do that until your opponent takes that off. Now, that that being said, you have to be aware if your opponent is not doing that if they if they take that adjustment off it can actually cost you so we're going to go ahead we're going to go back to the pass rush say that it worked uh they say they go back to conservative or balanced it doesn't really matter same thing so say they go back to that uh we'll go ahead and we'll pick uh something random here which is what came up and uh basically i'm going to show you how it can work against you if you're too aggressive with your uh, with your hike fakes. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna snap this one time. Nothing happened. I do it a second time, and I'm jumping off sides. So that's probably the most consistent. If you do it twice and there's no effect, you could get uh, giving them a five yards back. So it's a game of cat and mouse. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it doing it more than once, but you can come out every play and do um, you know do one time. And it's never going to affect you. So whether they're in conservative or aggressive or balanced, you know, every once in a while it's not a bad idea just to throw a little fake out there. And then if nothing happens, you know uh, you're good. So that's something to have in your pocket. So that's it. Another quick tip video. Uh, I'm enjoying doing this series. So if you guys enjoy watching it, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button. And I'll keep doing it. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit Out.